Hello, my name is Ryan Connolly, and welcome to the first episode of my podcast. So, as you guys know, my um, my website I have going on is based about video games and football, so we're going to be talking this first episode about video games. And the one topic I have about video games is how all these companies are just remaking old games. So, on the screen here, you can see right in the middle, there's Pokemon, and a lot of the Pokemon games that have been coming out recently haven't really been the best. So I guess they realize that the sales aren't doing well, the games aren't being played as much. So what, what, what do they do? Just remake the game. So the old Pokemon games like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, the remake has just recently came out of them. And all they do is really just upgrade the graphics. Just, up, get, just update the graphics a little bit. I mean the game is still, it looks really good, but it's the same game that people have played forever ago. So there's no really new content there. And with Zelda, there's been a bunch of Zelda remakes. Especially for like the Switch, I think a bunch of them came out that were remakes, and it's the same thing. There's nothing new about the game, it's just they update the graphics the tiniest bit, so that it doesn't look like the way it looked like back in the day. And basically people are just, and they put, oh, they make sure they put the price tag back at the full 60 bucks. So it's, you're getting, you're basically buying a game that came out like 10 years ago for the same full price of $60. And all they did was update the graphics, they didn't add any new content or anything. So that's the biggest topic I have so far, is... Our video games be getting worse and worse with these remakes because no no studio is really being innovative and coming up with new ideas. Sure, there is games that are coming out that are new, but the amount of games that are coming out that are remakes when they could have came out with these ideas that are actually really good is actually kind of surprising. Like if you look at Pokemon, there's a new Pokemon game coming out called Pokemon Arceus, but the way the direction of the Pokemon games been going, they've been trying to make them too in-depth to the point to where they just play clunky and the graphics honestly the graphics of the remakes are way better than the graphics of the new ones coming out i tried playing one of the new pokemon games on my switch and they just hurt my eyes to look at because they tried too hard with like the open world and the switch couldn't keep up with the graphics they tried to implement so the game just looked bad and that's something i feel like that a lot of companies mess up with is how important the graphics actually are for a game when you have the classic games no one cares about the graphics because it's all about the nostalgia for them but when these new games are coming out the graphics do actually matter in keeping your audience intrigued and not having where in my case my eyes started to hurt after playing one of the new pokemon games because the graphics were just weren't that weren't rendered properly for the switch and moving on to a a different company with the zelda i actually think the remakes of zelda were pretty good it's just, I would like to see a new, because the, the new Zelda Breath of the Wild was actually really good. That was a very good game. And they, they did announce the second one, but it obviously takes forever for them to make a new Zelda game. But in between, of course, they're releasing these um, these remakes just to get money, because that's all they really are, just money grabs, and people will do it for the nostalgia. People don't do it because the game, oh, the game is so great. Yeah, the game may have been good, but compared to like these newer games, there's just no depth to the games. And people are simply just rebuying the games for the nostalgia, which I feel like is just, a, and obviously it wouldn't be that bad if they did these remakes, but make them really cheap. Like if they were like 10 to 15 bucks for a remake of a game that already came out 10 years ago, that that's fine. But when they make that price tag of $60 for this, because that's what the price of the new games are. It's like the new Breath of the, the New Zelda is 60 bucks. So you're buying this new game which has all this crazy open world and it's got all these mechanics and it's really well designed for $60. That warrants the 60 bucks. But when you're buying just a game they copy and pasted for the same exact price for 60 bucks, you you start to wonder, is this game really even worth $60? And the answer is no. These games are just simple remakes that companies are using to just get big holes of cash because they know there's a big group of people who want to play these classic games. Like look at World of Warcraft for example. Their game came out like 14 years ago and they just keep releasing this uh, World of Warcraft classic where it's just basically they released the game that came out back in 2004. And what they do is they'll just release the, the they don't change a damn thing. Everything stays the exact same but it still has that $15 a month price tag on it. Now Warrant, you can play the new World of Warcraft and the classic one with the same subscription. But it really takes away from the fact that they could have made something new about it. They just basically copy and pasted the same game file that they came out with 14 years ago and just put it on there and had people go go play it and, and, pay, and people came back and paid for the subscription just to play that. 
when what they could have and then they added this new thing called season of mastery which is the same thing it's just the same launch of the same game just they said they made changes but the changes to it really don't warrant a re-release of a game that just got technically re-released two years ago because world of warcraft classic got originally released two years ago and that was all fine everyone wanted it it was good you don't have to pay if you were already paying for a subscription you don't have to pay anything else more to play it fine but then two years later another re-release of the same classic game comes out again and they said oh we make all these changes all they did was just make you level up faster made the raid bosses a little bit more hard and that was about it people wanted new mechanics new everything people wanted it to be a completely different renovated game but still had that classic feel to it and they just did not take any of that feedback and they just they didn't change any of the class any of the classes they just left everything the exact same said they made all these crazy changes and when in reality it's just you level up faster and the end game which it takes forever to get to the end game in that game the end game is really the only part that got changed and the changes weren't even like adding new mechanics to the boss fights just oh we gave them more health they more did do more damage like nobody really it's not gonna really affect anything because the game's so old people already know all the best strats to beat the boss so there's no real challenge in that what you need to do is add new mechanics so people have to learn new stuff to make the game actually good so this is the problem i have with gaming right now is that um every company just likes to re-release stuff and when they could be putting all those resources into making a new game that is actually top of the line because if they took all the resources for making that remake of the pokemon game they could have added all those resources into making the newest pokemon game as best as it possibly can be and that's why I really think that company is starting to get lazy. Because you, whenever you watch like the Nintendo Directs, so many of the games they announce are just remakes of other games. When they could have put all those resources and maybe took a few more years to announce the game, but they come out with a really good new game. So that's something that I really have an issue with is how long it takes for these companies to come out with games just for them to announce it's a remake of an old game. Like so you took that long just to copy and paste the game over? It can't, it, there's no way it takes that long just to update the graphics of an old game that you already have everything, all, all the code and everything already written for. That's really the problem that I have with gaming is that it, it seems to be regressing where they're just running out of ideas and doing remakes or the, or the companies are getting too lazy and they know they can make a lot of money, but it's releasing remakes. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode. So thank you for listening and have a good day.